I'm Felice Bahman Poor, VP of Product at Grace Note, the content solutions arm of Nielsen. And I'm excited today to talk to you about the, some of the real challenges of studio and production workflows and the new solutions um, that are being developed to address them. According to Nielsen, July marked the very first time that streaming content consumption eclipsed tra traditional cable. Uh, around the same time, Netflix and uh, Disney announced that you know, they're going after advertising supported subscription model. As we all know that you know, streaming sort of uh, services are sh showing signs of maturity. So it's totally understandable and expected. As everyone here acutely aware, the entertainment world is you know, changing pretty rapidly and um, sort of like impacting how the content is acquired, developed, and produced. And uh, today I want to take five minutes, sort of, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, um, you know uh, offer our perspective and some of the solutions that, to consider. According to studio system data here, um, you can see that in the last few years, um, the original content almost doubled. Um, obviously, Hollywood is, you know, investing billions of dollars to draw in, you know, the subscribers, new subscribers, as well as trying to uh, keep them on, on their platforms. And with so many productions going on at the same time, um, in the background, the internal departments who are basically trying to pull together is working harder, often using very siloed and legacy processes and uh, systems um, to, to make it all happen together. Um, if, and if you think of it in, in the industry, the new digital entrants are not, you know, taking that easy either because, you know, no, sort of learning how the Hollywood works and building business know-how, tools, processes, and contacts uh, often takes years, right? And um, sometimes yielding very little fruit to be perfectly candid. So the wrap, um, Here's another chart from our studio system. Um, as the RAP and other news outlets on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, inform us about you know talent deals, development deals, and production deals. Um, studios are signing multi-year, basically investments with the, the con you know the content creators, um, you know, drawing the top talents to their sort of platform, tying them essentially to their platform. Between 2019 and 2021, you see you see that about 30 percent increase in TV deals. That's that's quite significant, right? Um, at the same time, basically, you know, the studios are tightening their belts and they've done quite a bit of downsizing. So with that increase in production and decrease in support, obviously, you know, just uh, that puts a lot of stress in, in the departments that are basically responsible by, you know, these processes and, and workflows. This is a great, you know, um, sort of quote from Ted Sarandos. Indeed, you know, great storytelling transcends borders, and a strong strategy enhances subscriber growth. Right? While filmmaking in different countries is is nothing new, uh, all the big Hollywood movies are producing, you know, big franchises around the world, um, producing content in each regional market for local and global audiences, is is at scale is different. Producing content globally can open so many doors to talent and production companies around the world, essentially democratizing the system. But systems and processes that we use today are simply will not hold up to the global scale because they're sort of very much, you know, uh, geared towards local productions. So essentially, um, you know, visibility across all of the scripts and talent availability and schedules um, around the globe with where your productions are and teams are uh, requires a fresh sort of look at the problem and a solution. How about the production world, right? <laughs> the pandemic has, uh, was tough on uh, productions in 2020, uh, although the production shut down for a little while. And when they came back, the increased cost of productions 
Uh, in addition, inflation, in addition, sort of building material costs were almost added 15% to the bottom line. Productions are currently still experiencing supply chain issues, um, especially given that so many, so much volumes are going on at the same time simultaneously. So studios investing billions of dollars, of course, they want their content out, right? Um, and production executives, as a, as a result, um, you know, just applying various tactics to tackle these challenges, sometimes cross-boarding multiple episodes, clustering locations, uh, as well as volume, volume discounts, you know, um, negotiations with vendors, um, and, and sharing crew across the productions. As you can imagine, this requires quite a bit of collaboration and coordination, um, both internal and external parties. Production has long been Excel and manual processes, pretty much, with pointed solutions sort of across, you know, in certain areas, such as maybe, you know, time tracking, crew onboarding, uh, and maybe in financial areas. But we absolutely can do better. Studios need modern uh, solutions to make um, informed decisions throughout the life cycle um, for their growing pipeline of projects, as well as geographically distributed teams as we go more global. And again, you know, if you think of it, you know, production, post, and VFX producers should be able to collaborate with each other and access talent beyond their existing networks. That's really paradigm shift, right? Um, and, and also they should be able to you know, manage their budget costs easily across their portfolio, across you know, their teams around the world. So um, please remember this, with more competition than ever to bring you know, both commercially and critically successful productions to the global audience. Um, content creators uh, have a real need to for modern and integrating solutions to optimize the workflows and optimize the way the system works. Powered with data and enabling access to larger and diverse talent pool, connecting key departments together and teams around the world. So GraceNote Content Solutions is, um, is exactly that, um, has four components. Uh, you're probably very familiar with studio system metadata. All of the creative teams use day in and day out to look up, you know, what's going on in the development and production and released and who's attached to um, what productions. Uh, so we took that sort of studio system data and embedded into end-to-end uh, -end workflows from creative to business deals to production. Studio System Creative manages from the script ingestion, submission to the studio workflow, to evaluating, green lighting, all the way to release. Studio System Business deals with deal tracking, deal points, payments, triggers. Um, and Studio System Production has to do with you know, providing studio side budget budgets and financial tracking, as well as call sheets and schedules and calendars. Um, again, all of these offerings are uh, pretty much, um, you know, powered and fueled by studio system talent and project data. And we would love it if you take a, a few minutes today. Um, I have two colleagues, Don and Jeff, outside, ready to sort of give you a sneak preview of the solution and show sort of what Studio System Solutions can do for you. Thank you so much, appreciate your time.